Yeah, I wanted to touch on what Guy said earlier about the participation and partnership. I think that's very important in how we represent heritage and how we use heritage. As heritage practitioners and the field of, in the built environments, we have tools that aren't always flexible in different places and different spaces. We use a particular way of mapping. We use a particular way of identifying significance. And then we bring that formal lens and try to impose it on something that's very dynamic, especially in a place like Balville. So how do we change that way of thinking in a place that is dynamic? Because our city is growing. It's one of the fastest growing cities in the world. If we think through what urbanization is looking like for us and in migration of people, we cannot impose a way of managing heritage that is rooted in a static way of thinking about preservation and conservation. So one of the main considerations for me would be involving people in how we map, thinking creatively and what kind of tools we could use to do that. Is there a way to use, especially in Belleville, where there is a massive student population because of the university coming through the taxi ranks and on the public routes? Is there a way to use apps to identify certain things with photographs? And is there a way to map it through, through that kind of tool? Is there a dynamic public space where we can use art and performance in considering how we present heritage that isn't a, a tangible physical a monument or a or a plaque, we need to be creating meaning for everybody and adapt our tools in how we present heritage. I'm very intrigued by the idea of er everyday heritage and building inclusive communities is, is the idea that heritage is made and there are practices that people are nurturing that are becoming ritual, that is becoming living heritage, that is growing and changing. How are we facilitating that? It's in how we spatially include people in our city, how we are planning for our city. Are we removing people from the ability to practice their heritage as they go through their daily lives by spatially separating them? Or are we providing those inclusive spaces where heritage can be made and build community and build social cohesion? So that is, that's the kinds of things I would consider in building um, an inclusive community through using heritage. And what are the specific opportunities for heritage-linked placemaking in Belleville? So Belleville is one of those places where I haven't dived in and experienced fully, but I've read about it, I've passed through it, I've spent minimal time in it, but through reading about it, I think oral histories are going to become important in how we present those. We see, as Guy mentioned, these big monumental structures with spires going into the air that presents a particular almost oppressive symbol for most of the people who are going to pass through there. How can we counter that that thing, that object? I believe oral histories and involving more narratives in those spaces and around those spaces could help. So using those existing structures that have a particular meaning and try to kind of flip the narrative or create a new narrative on it. I'm very aware of the youth that are so ever-present in Belleville. What contemporary ways, um, opportunities are there? I've been chatting to some people about the taxis are so ever-present everywhere. Is there a way to use the taxi industry in the taxis using art, through music, through, through ways of engaging that system? for opportunities to express this, this melting pot of all these things. Art, expression through public art could be one way. The, the open spaces especially, and I know there's a challenge around safety and creating safe spaces, but how can we leverage those, that beautiful central linking space along the river for this placemaking and using heritage through landscaping, through planting indigenous plants, through engaging children in creating a beautiful space with indigenous knowledge. I think it's just limitless in how we can think through that. But I think it's important to shift our perspective on, of heritage as being obstacles, as being inflexible, of being conservative and colonial, to being this dynamic thing that we are making 
And I think we need to push that idea of heritage in a place like Belleville. In the city, actually, we are living in an ever-changing city and we need to be flexible in how we address and respond to heritage making. Thank you.